hey, Mr. Chef William, Chef Bill, uh, you said that you have never tried podcasting because you're not sure in what direction you would go and you're not sure what is all involved. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, list, man, I, I think I yeah have this from a, a previous uh, response. So I'm just going to give you like the, the steps I told someone else and then I, I kind of want to get into some of the, the podcasting possibilities for you personally because I just know like it's what there's some kind of saying that's like if you look at how far you have to go you'll get discouraged if you look at how far you've come then you'll you'll be really excited so instead of me saying oh you have to set up this plugin and that plugin or you have to record all these episodes that sounds like a lot of work right and so I'm just gonna kind of breeze through this really quickly you set up a blog you record an audio file any which way you can uh, we we tell you which headset this is you can use your phone you can use your built-in mic whatever you upload it and you basically have this audio file right and it's basically like if you pasted this link into a web address you could start hearing uh, yourself talking right uh, and so basically instead of handing out just the web address what you do is you uh, make a new blog post here right we say I'm gonna make a, a new post on let's see the Robert Plank show right and we're going to save the top episode is this thing with Rob Lowe and here's his picture and at the bottom it adds this sort of audio player here right and this audio uh, player you, you go and make the blog post the title the categories the picture all that stuff and then on the bottom here this is where the magic happens this is where it makes it a podcast and you can just attach this accompanying audio file of this blog post and so I mean we some of us I'm thinking about Lance Tomashiro, who's my business partner. He has a podcast, and uh, what he'll do is sometimes, well, sometimes he'll, he'll like paste in his guest's bio. Uh, maybe he's doing things differently now, but uh, a lot of times, well, I guess like this one, right? So many times he will put up the title. And then look, that's it. It's just so he just went and said, I want to make a new blog post. Here's the title, here's the audio, boom, done. Th there you go. Uh, and so that's that's pretty much like the, the gist of it. And in our course, Podcast Crusher, we take you through the steps, we show you like all the stuff to to get on there, but we want you to get through that part as soon as fast as possible to just record a quick a uh, five minute episode, get it online, and basically Apple has to approve it. And then once it's approved, then what we have here is something like this. So you have uh, this page on Apple and someone can go and subscribe to my show there. Uh, and uh, if someone wants to search uh, any of these kind of keywords, right? If they search LinkedIn ads on their phone, if they search Webinar Ninja, which is a service, if they search Amazon done for you, anything like that, they will eventually find uh, my site. And, and that also includes my guests, right? So if someone searches Sherry Sokolowski, uh, Dr. Frank Gibson, Charles Runnels, Fred Gleek, Red Horrocks, uh, then they will eventually find my, my podcast. And so just like the, I don't want you to get bogged down with the steps. I want you to get excited about what can can then happen. And so uh, we look. I'm looking at your Whole Food Chef, right? And so so here's what's pretty cool. Is first of all, it looks like you post pretty regularly, right? It looks like maybe twice a week, three times a week, every few days. So you know what you could do. And there are a couple possibilities here is uh, what I like to do sometimes is I'll go back to old blog posts and I will read them out, right? I'll read them out. And then what you can do is uh, this, your podcast can actually live here on your Whole Foods Chef. And so what you can do is you can click the record button on, on we tell you to use Audacity to record your podcast. So you click the record button and you just read out. Grilling Burgers Outdoors has a special meaning up north where some have been living inside for months while snow and sometimes ice covered the ground and it was just too darn cold to be cooking outdoors. So you just read the text on this and then that gives you an audio file and you can uh, add that podcast episode. It adds like a player and then it also, like I said, it shows up if they search on the phone. So it adds a, a podcast player under your post and so now someone can, if they search for um grilling burgers on on itunes and actually i'm gonna fire up my uh my phone here because i'm really curious to see what kind of cooking stuff comes up so i'm uh 
connecting my phone here. And yes, yeah, so while, while that's connecting, uh, so basically go back to some of these old posts and either you speak them out yourself or you could even go on a site called Fiverr.com and you can search for voiceover. And hmm, let's try to get this to connect. So anyway, you search for Fiverr voiceover, and if you want like uh, these bald dudes, guy with glasses, whatever, if you want these people to uh, to speak out your your post, well then you don't even have to do the work. And so if you found this person, his rates are two hundred, so two hundred words for a gig. So if you have, so what is this? Like I would guess this is what like five hundred words or so. So for ten bucks, you can have someone, a professional, read all this out. And then uh, that gives you an audio file, and you can just put it on the bottom there. So, and the whole reason why I brought up my phone here was, so if we search like uh, burgers, maybe, I'm really curious about what happens. So how to cook the perfect burger, right? Um, a bur let's see. So we say grilling, right? If someone searches grilling, now if if you were to compete on Google for the term grilling, uh, how tough would that be, right? Or even like grilling burgers or whatever someone would search to, to find you. See, like there's there's a couple grilling monsters, so everything cooking outdoors. So, I mean, something that a lot of people just kind of kind of forget to do. There we go. What people forget to do is to look at their competitors. A lot of people can't stomach what their competitors are doing and it's like well what why like you don't have to copy anyone but if if some competitor is doing something that looks like is working well for them or you can outdo them then great so i mean look at this if people are search or people are making uh, episodes on homemade barbecue sauce bacon wrapped ribs so pretty much the same sort of stuff that you had on your your blog but now you can reach this other well you can reach a, a few people you can reach people who are searching and this is this is uh, me searching on my phone here. You can find people who are searching about bacon candy, split pea soup. So if they're searching for like recipes uh, on their phone, which I do all the time, right? I will I'll fire something up, and I'm curious what one of these sounds like. I fire up a podcast, and I'll go for a walk. I'll go for a drive. And now you also have. Whoops, I think it's trying to play through the through the thing. I think I have to disconnect. Um, I guess I got too fancy. Say turn off mirroring uh, and turn off. Okay, so if I play this episode, okay, so he has a uh, he's super fancy. He's got uh, a video podcast going. Uh, but but yeah, I I think a big untapped resource for you is. Um, is to take some of your existing blog posts and make them podcast episodes. And I'm sure that you have some posts that are more like recipes and others that are kind of less like them. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can have whole posts talking about your online cooking classes, whole posts talking about kombucha. I'm sure kombucha is a thing that's uh, searched about quite a bit. Uh, and yeah, I'm not going to fire up my, my phone for that. Uh, but just think about this, right? Think about uh, talking about spices in the kitchen, herbs in the kitchen. And then as far as uh, guests you can have on your show. So some of these other people that have cooking podcasts, have them on your show. I just talked to like, uh, you know, a, a weight loss person on my show and we talked about business stuff, but you can have the person on and talk about, you know, how to, uh, how to grill stuff that's like easy to make, but it's also doesn't cost a lot of money. That's also really good tasting, but also doesn't, isn't super, uh, unhealthy. I mean, all kinds of fun stuff there. And so, uh, so yeah, so basically you see, you haven't tried it, so you're not sure in what direction. So I hope that kind of, uh, helps to give you some ideas. Take your existing blog content and make uh, those into podcast episodes. Uh, every sort of uh, problem people that ha have, right? Like if someone's, uh, I think you mentioned about how like grilling in the winter or stuff like that, or how to eat healthy if you're busy. And then every single thing on this sidebar, let me hide myself for a second. Uh, these should all be ideas for podcast episodes and you might even just make this the title of one of your episodes right talk about healthy natural living talk about online cooking classes uh, talk about 
retiring to Mexico and stuff like that. Uh, so, and then have those guests on, have uh, weight loss guests on, have uh, you know other chefs and people like that on. Uh, and what's really cool is once you get sort of rocking and rolling with that, um, I think if I fire up my Twitter account. So basically, once you kind of get rocking and rolling, once you have a bunch of content, then you can set something up like this. So what we have here, this is my, my Twitter page. Let's see, I'll move myself over. I have my Twitter page. And uh, basically, yeah, this posted 50 seconds ago as I was talking to you. This posted 46 minutes ago, two hours ago. So basically, a couple times an hour, it, it posts a different... Uh, podcast episode of mine and this posts all day long over and over and over on a loop uh, but there's just so many hundreds of them and I tag different people and they'll you know see like so this is six hours ago and Douglas Carr retweeted it and he hearted it I guess I hearted it also uh, and so basically we just this person hearted it uh, this person hearted it let's see this person hearted it Right. So once you have all this content, then you can kind of just keep on uh, putting the stuff out. And if I go to my uh, looking at my traffic, here's what's kind of cool. Right. So in the past month, move myself back over in the past month, I have uh, I've got 80 or 70,000 impressions on my Twitter stuff. And this one right here. For whatever reason, 1,400 people, maybe because it had a hashtag mindset, 1,400 people saw just this one tweet. And this is the kind of tweet that comes up every, like, once a uh, once a, a, a month or so, right? Because I have so much stuff. 600 impressions. Um, like, let's see. And, I mean, in the past nine days, 300 tweets. So, like, once you kind of get rocking and rolling with this, uh, you can have a lot of traffic there. And so, and I think that with you, I would just think about, you know, what, I mean, have you ever searched uh, maybe on YouTube or on a podcast or something, podcast, something like that? Uh, have you searched those sorts of things? Uh, and if so, then kind of fill that gap. And so if someone's searching for, you know, barbecue recipes, kombucha recipes, make different episodes talking about that and send them back to your site. And that's uh, my suggestion for you as far as the possibilities. Get this stuff set up as fast as possible. That way you can start having fun. That way you can actually go for the strategy and not just the steps, right? You can go for, um, you know, contacting other people to have them on your show. Think about, you know, what kind of, you uh, episodes that you put out really hit well with your audience you can make more stuff like that and so that's my suggestion for you as far as uh keeping things simple and thinking about the possibility the strategy so anyway i'm robert plank from podcastcrusher.com i hope that helps kind of rambled went on some different sort of tangents but that's kind of just my thought as far as looking at your site talking about podcasts and uh this whole like sort of cooking chef niche and stuff like that and and this way i mean sort of like with your blogging you can chase all of those different trends right like remember when everyone was talking about like the atkins diet or now there's like paleo diet or like whatever the big hot topic is i mean you're already it looks like you're already kind of picking up on on those uh, hot keywords on your blog you might as well since you're there anyway also pick it up on the uh the podcasting side of things especially because the competition is a lot less comp uh, crowded on this this podcast stuff. so anyway robert plank i hope that helps talk to you soon mr chef and bye now